Welcome to this short video overview of how to best install the 3D level scanner. Detailed instructions can be found in the installation manual. Precise installation of the 3D level scanner is crucial for proper performance, accurate results, and trouble free operation over time. In choosing the proper location, you should consider every aspect of the vessel and type of materials being stored. The 3D level scanner needs to be directed towards the center of the vessel. If mounting with a standpipe, leave at least 10 millimeters for the antenna to stick out. Make sure that nothing is interfering with the acoustic beam. The scanner should be located with a clear line of sight to the material high point. Position the horn antenna at a 90 degree angle from the ground. Use the recommended cable gland and tighten the cable connection. The 3D level scanner should be grounded for protection. Make sure 24 volt DC power is available with at least 1.5 watts per device. The scanner is comprised of the body, which includes three antennas and the transducers, and the head, which includes the electronic board and all wiring connections. Before installing the 3D level scanner, an installation flange should be prepared. Verify existence of the O-ring. Remove the nut from the neck tube using an 18-inch wrench. Place flange over the neck tube. Replace the nut and tighten it. Unscrew the rear panel from the scanner head using a 4mm hex key. The screws will not come out. Remove the cable clamp. Gently insert the antenna cable through the scanner head. The head may be installed in six different positions. Push the head all the way down until it fully touches the top of the neck tube. Tighten the front screw. Replace the cable clamp. Carefully connect the antenna cable. Leave the scanner open to complete the wiring. Loosen the compression nut of the cable gland entry. Insert the cable. Strip the wires and insert the edges into the terminals according to the wiring plan. Connect the external ground terminal. Before reattaching the rear panel, tighten the compression nut and make sure the sealing ring completely wraps the cable. Turn on the scanner and wait for the main screen to appear. To set the scanner address, scroll to Output Settings in the main menu. Press E to switch to the Polling Address Configuration screen, Output Settings. Set an address from 00 to 63 using the plus-minus buttons, and then press E to save. The 4 20 mA line is connected directly from the scanner to the PLC DCS display. Supports Heart Protocol by connecting a 250 ohm resistor on one of the wires and a heart modem and communication to and from the scanner. 3D level scanner allows a computer to communicate with the scanner or multiple scanners using a single connection to the computer running the software. For multiple scanners, connect in parallel mode and configure each scanner with a different polling address. The RS-485 bus can also be converted to TCP IP communication. Contact technical support for assistance on the proper TCP IP converter to use. Neck extensions lower the scanner body below obstructions such as standpipes or support beams which might block the acoustic signals. The head body separation solution allows installation inside the vessel with the head at an easy to reach and maintain external location. If you have any questions or need any additional guidance, please contact us by phone or our website 